thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be working on this adorable whimsy stamps image called Rudolph. Isn't he super cute? Love him. The stamp also comes with a cinnamon and I've cut my cinnamon apart to make it um, one straight line. It comes with the Mary and then the Christmas underneath and it's an outline cinnamon so I've colored mine in with my red Spica glitter pen so that it's red in the middle. I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I will make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Mina 80 pound Solarite cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color. So let's start off by giving Rudolph a quick outline with C00. And I'm just going to start down here at the bottom of my package and I'm going to make a line all the way around and I'm going to make sure to go around all of this other stuff. And I like to do it first so in case I get some on my image that I don't want there, I can erase it. And I don't have to worry about picking up other colors um, and dragging them out here into my background. I'm just going to go around that. Here. And I don't care how fat um, my line is. I just let the pin go around the, the image and then that's what I leave it at. Up here. And he's got a little bit of his hair that's showing out from underneath of his ear and then I'm going to do these little swirls and then let's go up here and around his ear and then he's got a little bit of space showing right there in between his hair and his ear and we'll go down here do this swirl do that swirl And we just want to work our way around. And let's see, got to go around our antler here. And let's get these loose hairs. He's got some cute little hairs sticking up there. And let's see, let's go down the string for our little ornament and then around to the bottom. And let's go down here. And we're just going to go down to the bottom of the package. And go around these little circles right here. Let's give our package something to sit on with W3, 1, and E40. I'm going to start with my W3. And let's go out here. And we'll go right underneath of our package. And then out this side a little bit. I think I'll go over around this little ornament or this ball right here too. Then I'm going to add E, or sorry, W1. I'm just going to make it a little bit wider. And then I'm going to go over both those colors with my E40. Now I'm going to bring it out just a little bit past the W1. Yeah, bring it up here just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back with my W3 and just add a little bit of that shadow back in underneath the packages and the ornament, the package and the ornament. Let's work on Rudolph next. For him we're going to use E44, 43, 42, and 41. And let's start over here on his hand, or his, his yeah, his hand. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. <laughs> And let's go with E44 right along the bottom. And then we're going to add a little dab of our E43. And then I'm going to fill the rest in with E42. And let's hop over here and do this hand. So again, do E44. And I'm going to do a little bit down here in the corner. 
and then I'm going to add um, some E43. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of that with E42. Let's hop up here and do his head. Let's do his little ear over here first. So E44, I'm going to do a little dab right here. He's got a little bit of his ear showing underneath of this hair right here. And then I'm going to bring it out on this side and along the side right here. And then for this ear, let's do a tiny dab coming out there. Then we're going to add E43. And then we'll add a little bit over here. And I want it to come on the other side over this way. And then I'm going to fill this side in with E42. And then over here, we'll add some over here. And then I'm going to go over this one with my E41. And he's got this great hair that's sprouting up. So let's grab E44, and then I'm going to give each one in the center a little slash of color. And I'm going to work my way around to the other side. up here. And this one's got a little spot right here that's curling back, so I'm going to give that a little dab right on the back side. And then I'm going to go with E43. Let's go ahead and fill this in. And then we want to add a little bit of this color to all of these hair pieces. work our way back to the other side and then we're going to add E42 and then I want to go over all of that with my E41 Okay, then we got his face. So grab your E44 again, and let's add that over here on this side. So I'm going to go, let me turn him this way. I'm going to brush away from the edge of his face and come out here. And let's go up here a little bit. And then we're going to grab E43, and we'll add a little dab of that. And then E42.
and then E41. And I'm going to start over with E44. And then E43. And then E42. And then let's go across, go over the entire thing with our E41. Let's hop down here into his stomach. So again, grab E44. Let's do that right over here above his foot. And I'm gonna bring that up here a little bit more. And then I wanna go around. Let's go ahead and go around this foot. And then we're gonna brush up. And then I'm going to go with E43. And then E42. And then over the entire area with E41. For the inside of his ears, let's use W3, E42, and E41. And I'm going to start with my W3. And let's go ahead and just do a little bit of that right along the upper edge of his ear. And same for this side. And then we're going to go over that with our E42. I'm going to go over both of those with E41. I think I'll go again with my W3. And then another coat of my W or my E42. And then over both of those with my E41 again. For his antlers, let's use W3, 1, and E40. I'm going to start with my W3. Let's go up here and we'll add a little dab to some of these. Let's go right along here. And then how about underneath this berry? Like that. A little dab on this one, and let's do a little bit right here on this side. And then for this one over here, let's go on the bottom of this side, and here, and there. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of W1.
and then same for this side. And then we want to fill in the rest with our E40. missed a spot. Let's grab W3. I'll we'll do a little dab right in here and then W1 and then I'm going to go over that with my E40. For his hooves we're going to use W7, 5, and 3. Let's start with our W7 and I want to do a little dab of that right in here and I'm going to kind of bring it down a little bit. And on this side, we're going to do this side right along the edge. And then we're going to do the same on this side, right along the edge. And then I want to give this side a little bit more of a line. Then we're going to add W5. So let's add a little dab over here. Same for this side. I think I'll do a little bit more over here too. And then I want to swipe across the entire thing with W3. And I'm going to go back with my W5. And then over it again with my W3. For the leaves and the stripe on the ornament, we're going to use YG67, 17, and 03. Now let's start down here with these bottom leaves with YG67. And I'm just going to go right along the bottom. And then across this line. And then this side, we're going to do a little bit down here on this side, on this line. And then let's do a little dab right on this side. Then we'll go up here and we'll get these. So let's do the back side of this one. And then this one, we'll do the underside. And then again the line. And this one we're going to do the underside, or the bottom. Then we're going to add YG17. I'll go down here and do that, some of that to this. And then we want to fill it in with our YG03. And we'll go up here and 
fill these two, these three in. And then let's go over here and we'll do the stripe on our little ornament. So grab your YG67. I'm going to do that on this side. And then I'm going to add YG17. And then YG03. And then I want to do those all again. So YG67. YG17. And then my YG03. Down here on these leaves, there's a little bit of a stem showing right here. I almost forgot about it. Let's do YG67. And then I'm just going to fill it in with my YG17. The, for the wrapping paper on the package, we're going to use W2, double zero, E40, and then I'm going to put some dots on with YG63. So I'm going to start with my W2, and let's go, he's got a little bit showing right here what his hand is, so I'm going to go ahead and just color that in. And then I want to bring the shadow down along each of these lines right here. And then underneath on this one. And let's go over here underneath of his foot. And over here we'll go underneath of his foot. And then I'm going to add W00. And then I want to go over the entire thing with E40. And then with my YG63, I'm just going to add some dots. So I just randomly, I'm going to go along. Let's go over here and do the top of this ornament with YR23. For the rest, we're going to do red, so we're going to use W5, R39, R29, and R17. Let's go ahead and start over here on the, or the ornament with W5. Let's do down here on the bottom. And then we're going to go over that with our R39. And then we'll add some R29. And then we'll fill it in with R17. And let's go up here and do these berries on his ear, on his antler. So W5.
R39. R29. And then R17. Let's do the little holly berries right here too. So W5. R39. R29. And then R17. Then let's do a sweater. Okay, W5. Let's go with that right along this edge here, a little bit on the sleeve. And then let's do right along the bottom of this sleeve. And then underneath of his chin a little bit right here. And then for his sweater, I want to do this side. And he's got a little flower or a snowflake there in the center of his sweater. I'm just going to color right over the top of that. And later, if you wanted, you could take your um, white paint pen and color it back on there. This is R39. Sleeve over here. And then I want to fill it in with my R17. Alright, how about the ribbon on this package? So let's go with um, W5. And then let's do this side and along the bottom. And then over here we'll do this side and along the bottom. And the bottom of this side. Then we're going to go R39. And R29. And then R17 to fill it in. That leaves us with his nose. So W5. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a 
right along the bottom here. And then we're going to add our 39. And then our 29. And then our 17. And I'm going to give him a white shiny spot on his nose. So I try to keep this line right here smooth. And over here, I'm just going to go like that. And I'm going to leave that little white streak right there on his nose. So there is our cute Rudolph all colored up, and there's a few little dots out here on the outside that I didn't color. I'm just going to put some Stickle Stardust on those so I didn't color them in. And then again, here is the finished card. So the only thing that's popped up this time is this little sentiment, and then you've got this giant snowflake that is behind the, um, oh, the, in the image and the map. And then I put the snowflake on top of this map, the top of the picture, and then I put the lamppost and a snowflake over here on top too. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.